Hello to everyone watching this footage. It's Leviathan here again, and I have to do my uh, introductories now for newcomers for this series and such. I'm born high-functioning autistic, I'm obsessed with fiction, and I created my own universe of uh, different varieties of stuff and such. And uh, for this video, I'm going to introduce a new character to you guys, known as Dr. Fly. And if you guys bear with me, I will make sure that it would be as comprehensible as I can. You know, just just bear with me and just um, just go with the flow and try to keep up as much as you can. Here it is. Dr. Fly number one. The beginning. Created and copyrighted by Levi Corsi Ames, July 28, 2015. To begin the story, we start traveling across New York City until we start observing a laboratory where a young male scientist with one leg is doing some chemistry work. This story is particularly about him. His name is Dr. Bradley, Dr. Bradley Connors. He currently has green eyes, short black hair, and is dressed in laboratory clothes. He was born with a condition that left him with only a right leg, making him live with a crutch and being constantly teased in his childhood. He finally created a green serum that was supposed to make him grow back his other leg. However, after consuming it, Bradley almost instantly started to mutate into a human-fly hybrid with compound eyes, four clawed arms, two insectoid legs with three toes on each foot, a large pair of fly wings, and a neural disorder that makes him lose his humanity at random points, despite that he still talks and thinks like an everyday person. Eventually, Bradley found that his new form's permanent, gained the name Dr. Fly, and became a lab assistant for Madame Shear, despite that he's nowadays marked as an anti-hero. After two, month of, two months of employment, Dr. Fly flew around the city until encountering Mother Hornet, and by that point they became instant lovers, despite her sinister intentions. Later that week, Bradley decided to tell his boss, Kier Kimberly about it. Dr. Blader, I've fallen in love with somebody. I may get her name wrong, but I think it's like Buzanix or something. When Kim realized who he's talking about, she responded, wait, you're in love with Mother Hornet? She's one of my enemies. I'm sorry if I just ruined your mood, boss. She then grunted and said, Maya, please tell me that Dr. Fly was intoxicated with Hornets' pheromones. And Maya, her main computer system, replied, I'm sorry, sir, but it turns out that Mother Hornets' pheromones only work on... They don't work on other insectoids. Dr. Fly is truly in love. After hearing this, Sheer sighed and finally says... Okay, Bradley, you can date her, but listen to this. If you end up making yourself a disgrace for Blader Tech Industries, I swear you will be fired on the spot. Got it? All right, Kimberly. Kimberly. I'll do all that I can to avoid that, he finally stated. On his next meeting with Queen Buzanix, Dr. Fly finally asked, Hornet... I've decided to put you to consideration, if you don't mind. Care to join me? Why, yes, I will, Bradley. Let me give you something. And they connected proboscises as something got transferred into Bradley. Wow, Hornet. Tastes like honey. It is honey, sweetums. And they both laughed as they cuddled together, establishing their romance from that point on. The end. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the storyline, and I apologize for any points if I did when I stumbled and such. I try my best to stay comprehensible. And if you guys want, it's your choice. You could like, subscribe, and comment down below. And um, I'll be doing all that I can to make sure that this podcast and such is successful and such. So, hope you guys enjoyed the footage and previous footages and such. And until next time, I'm Leviathan, 
And uh, until next time, in transmission.